All right, buddy, what's up, hmm? Well, today, we're gonna do what we didn't finish the other day. We're gonna get those headers all made. I uh, kind of was loosely mocking stuff up just to see how things go. Found a set of shocks in the shed that should be pretty good. I was gonna run some smaller ones, but they're actually super, super small. My, uh, on my T at the time, I had bought some from uh, Speedway, these small, small shocks. And I didn't know where to source them out. And then I figured out semi-cab have shocks on them and they're really small. So if you're ever looking for one, they're the, the, the shocks that are on a semi-cab. They do uh, for the air ride on the, on the cab. They're uh, really nice short shocks. So anyways, I'm gonna throw those in the stock pile. Uh, but the plan when I do run the shocks, it's got the lower mount there, so you can see how that works. And then on the upper part, you take Ford F1, uh, like the old F1 trucks, Mercury, stuff like that. Kind of like that Ford over there. That style of truck, these, you kind of shorten them down, boom, do your thing. And then that'll be uh, my front shock mounts. And then for the headlight towers, I save these up. These are on the Model A's. You have those... Uh, the spreader bar between the fenders and then they do the headlight mounts so you use those but you just cut it off and then you kind of can bolt it down and then you manipulate it however you want at least that's how i'm going to do it on here we'll see how well that works anyways task at hand we've made a bunch of these header tubes uh, i believe they call them a magnophone megaphone yeah that's right megaphone so my plan is to come up with a design to uh, mount these. I think I'm gonna do them kind of staggered, one down and one above it, and they'll be just staggered off of each other. That's the plan. Uh, I guess all we gotta do is start scabbing some junk up and make it work. So the idea, anyways, I was gonna do this tube and this tube are gonna go into uh, here, so I'll have a front and then somewhere on the side we'll get uh, the other mount. But for now, I'm gonna just work on the two primaries just to get the pipes sitting where I like and then try to mirror those so they're the same on the other side. That'll be the uh, tricky part. Well, tricky but not tricky, as long as it's close. You can't see both sides at the same time, so as long as when you're looking at it head on, they sort of look in the zone. That'll be good enough for me. All right, well, let's get started.
Well, in my head, I had a different vision, but I'm liking that. That kind of fills the whole area up. That's like ride height because I've cinched the axle up. So, I think it fills the side okay. I don't know, I don't mind it. For some reason I had some more elaborate something happening. So I guess from here the plan is I'm just gonna have a secondary tube go to my lower and then this one will go to the upper tube. I guess in the end it's doing what I thought it was gonna do but it's kind of different. <laughs> Hey, whatever works. Should be more or less keep them in the semi straight shot, so. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't see why that wouldn't work. I mean, it's an exhaust in the end. What do we got? <clears throat> you might get them a little more twisty or something because these just don't seem to Yeah, more or less of Burke. Why not? I don't know. I think it'll be fine. It'd be different. <laughs> I have to think about this. I think this will work though. That the the side shot I like the way it is, so you can't deny that. That's okay. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll see. I can always cut it up and change it if I don't like it, but so far I don't mind the look, so. So far it's doing what I want. So I don't know. I think I'll keep going with it. Maybe I'll sit and think about it a bit. I haven't done a heck of a lot right now, but it's gonna go in for supper and uh, figure out what I'm gonna do next year.
Well, it's welded. Not too pretty, but I did say I'm going to wrap it, so I'm not too concerned about that because some of the gaps are a little large down there, but that's okay. Uh, at the end, I was TIG welding it on, well, mostly because uh, maybe I'll dull this one down a bit. It's just nicer to weld a TIG weld. And I TIG welded the inside, so there's no, I think that's normally how headers are. So there's no visible, really ugly welds going around the outside. So you kind of push them through, do the weld on the inside. I uh, busted down the high, anything that I kind of welded, like boogered past it, I kind of ground that down quick and then just hit it with the long board to make sure the flange is still square. Um, when I was doing it, the seams on here, I just put them to the inside because when they're on the car or on the truck, you'll never see them. So pretty much, I'm pretty happy the way they turned out. Uh, I'm gonna quickly throw it on and uh, well, see if my vision's I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. They're roughly in the same place, so yeah, I don't know. It's different, different than the traditional style, so that's what I was kind of going for. Anyway, let's, uh, we're gonna throw it back on and let's get the other side done. It's a little bit of the same. Now we have to make sure it looks like this one. <laughs> All right, let's get started.
Well, the second side went a lot better. Well, mostly because I had this side. I kept running back and forth the reference. Only difference with it is because that head is tucked back more, I had to do a little wobble around to get it past here. So we got a little wobble in there. That's okay. Other than that, everything works good. Like again, I'm gonna wrap them. Just, I don't know, I think it'll look nice with the paint in this thing. If these are wrapped up in some header wraps so I can kind of do whatever, something. It'll look better than just painting them anyways, I think. Maybe not, but I can always take it off. Don't care. <laughs> right? We don't care. You don't care. But, looks pretty good. I think I got them pretty close to the same. Either way, you can only see one side. Once the headlights and stuff are in there, we're, uh, you can't even tell if I'm off. Anywho, uh, I went to the shed, found a couple mufflers. No idea what they're from or anything. Mind you, they're, they're new old stock. Kind of got a, a whole bunch. My muffler van was kind of supplied one time from uh, an inventory change at a shop and I just bought all their excess. But anywho, these should have baffles on both sides. I grabbed these because the mufflers were the same. So I'm hoping they got baffles. Oh, it's not looking like it. Oh, they're weird. I'm gonna cut them up anyways. I'll see if I have some more. I got a whole bunch more mufflers. I was just hoping that this would have had some kind of a baffle on each side. It doesn't really look like this thing is very baffled in there. See, this one side's baffled. This side's got nothing, goes to a chamber. So I gotta go find a couple more mufflers. All right. Because I need four of them. I should actually find smaller ones, but the idea is I'm going to uh, probably cut a plate so they sit recessed in a little bit so you don't just see this thing with a, a pokey bit coming out of it. And then I'll have a bolt on the bottom to hold them in. So they'll kind of go in, hopefully pretty far, and uh, I don't know, should quiet it down. There's no way I could drive around like this. This would uh, drive me all batty. Anywho, uh, so we're gonna do that. I gotta clear more snow. We got some more snow last night, so I'm gonna clear some more snow, find a couple more mufflers, start carving them up, build these templates, and then right here, you can see how that nut is underneath here, so I can't actually run my throttle. So I'm gonna carve this up, fix up a few things. This is my working my grubby gloves. You can imagine when this thing's painted, how bad this thing's gonna look. You got her all dirty. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, let's go grab some more mufflers here and see if we can make some stuff. Right, Bob? You wanna make some stuff with me? You wanna just sit there? Okay, you do that. You're doing a good job there.
cool. I uh, didn't think, well, <laughs> basically I had these mufflers, I gutted them, because usually they got these baffles in it. The win here was I actually had four of them, so that works out like super well. So we got these inserts and uh, we'll be able to make like a mount in here. So those suckers will get sucked, sunk into there. I'm gonna put a washer, cap one end. We'll have to clean these all up, but uh, this should, they'll work good into each of these pipes. So four of those, that'll be done. We'll have no idea what it sounds like until uh, the car's actually got like a running motor and stuff on it. <laughs> but either way, we got our baffles. Uh, well, I'm pretty much gonna cut me up, clean these up, if I can pick them up. One-handed world, dang it. well we pulled the pulled the manifolds off the exhaust manifolds whatever you want to call them headers I don't know uh, stuffed the baffles in I cut some slits at the back because I realized the washer was gonna get pretty tight and not let much through so I slid up the bottom of the uh, the baffle forcing everything kind of go through there there is a small hole whatever you'll see me wash the washers on so there's a through and goes the other way. Eh, we'll see how it goes. If I don't like it, I can pull them out and either cap the end completely and just force everything through or whatever. We'll see how it is though. Uh, but now the last step I wanna do is uh, wrap these suckers up somehow. I'm not sure how I wanna do that yet though. So I'll probably do like these two together and then come off to the single and then you know this one can wrap that whole pipe this one yeah somehow this one will twine into there this I don't know we'll we'll make it up as we go and we'll <laughs> figure it out although I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that done tonight I think I gotta soak that I'm gonna throw these in some water just so a guy can actually wrap these things pretty tight 
I might try it dr dry. We'll see how it goes. Other than the uh, flaky itchiness that is what those are. I'm not sure how I like it. <clears throat> I don't know, it looks kind of neat. I'm not sure. Ignore all that mess yet because I haven't quite figured out the clamps and I just zip tie it just to hold stuff in place. I mean, it's kind of neat, kind of different. Don't know, don't know how else to do it. I mean, I guess it'd be better if I started at the back. I don't know, there's no, there's no real right or wrong. I think I want to rewrap this one because some of the pipe is exposed here. Not that that matters, but I haven't done the other one yet. I think I'm going to have to sit and ponder on this because so I can always take it off. Not that, okay. Not that you can't use that stuff somewhere else. It's just, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards, yeah, I'm hit and miss. I think I need to sleep on it and figure out what I want to do, but. It's kind of neat, but I might hold off on doing the other one just in case. Once I paint the truck, maybe it won't suit the truck. Maybe just the, you know, black paint on it or like high heat paint is all it needs. I don't know. We'll sit and think about that. So we'll leave the other one for now, just so we can do a comparo with the two when the time comes. But anyways, I think, uh, I think this is where I'm going to leave this one. We got our exhaust done. Um, yeah, I think we got a bunch of stuff here. I ordered a couple cans of the actual paint I want to use. Well, I just got a couple cans just to blow in all the weird spots. So I'm going to get some mixed and I'll probably just shoot the car with an actual gun. But uh, yeah, that and I think uh, we're going to get this, figure out our radiator, get this grill kind of mounted. We're going to do our shock towers and uh, headlight mounts. I think that's that's on the slate for uh, for next here. Um, but anyways, as always, I want to thank you folks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>